Getting a professional certification is an important step for any project manager, as it demonstrates your credibility and expertise internationally. It can also provide you with more career opportunities in your field all over the world. However, when it comes to choosing the right certification, you might get confused which one you should pursue. In this video, we are going to break down two of the most popular project management certifications, Project Management Professional PMP and Projects and Control Environments PRISU. Hi and welcome to the Learning Hub of Project Autonomy. My name is Christine and in this series I'm speaking about project management certifications. If you're planning on pursuing certifications in project management, then this series is for you. So make sure to subscribe to get notified when the next video is up. Project Management Professional or PMP certification is provided by the Project Management Institute, PMI. The certification tests your general knowledge of project management foundational processes. It evaluates your understanding of various skills and techniques to become a successful project manager, as well as your overall knowledge of the project management body of knowledge. PRINCE 2, Projects and Control Environment Certification, is mainly focused on the specific processes and steps in project management. PRINCE 2 validates your knowledge of the standard and orderly approach to leading and completing the projects using the step-by-step -step processes and tools. It also gives you an idea of how to divide responsibilities among the team members. Both PMP and PRIS certifications provide the necessary knowledge to become an expert in the field of project management. Taking either one of them will be beneficial for your professional growth. But before you make your decision, let's look into some factors that make the certifications different from each other. Those factors include the exam structure, certification level, prerequisites, cost and certification renewal. First, please note that PRINCE2 certification consists of two qualification levels, PRINCE2 Foundation and PRINCE2 Practitioner. The foundation level is an introduction to the PRINCE2 principles, themes and processes and provides theoretical knowledge of how to deliver projects from start to finish. PRINCE2 Practitioner extends the knowledge acquired at foundation level to provide you with appropriate skills and tools to successfully deliver projects. PMP certification is not categorizing qualification levels. In general, it is for more experienced PMs who have been leading projects for at least three years. So in case you are a beginner in project management, you should consider doing Certified Associate in Project Management certification first to gain the basic information in project management before jumping to PMP certification. Now let's look into the exam structure for both certifications. In PMP certification exam, you will be given 230 minutes to complete 180 questions. The Prince to Foundation exam consists of 60 multiple choice questions, which have to be completed in 60 minutes. Prince to Practitioner is an open book exam, which includes 68 questions to be completed in 150 minutes. Prior to earning a certification and applying to the exam, it is necessary to look at all the prerequisites to make sure you are an eligible candidate for either certification. This is a crucial step when choosing your certification. It is also a good way to understand where you stand as a professional in a project management career and how you can improve your career further. In the case of Princeton Foundation, there are no eligibility criteria. However, you will need to have project management training or experience to be able to pass the certification exam. For the practitioner exam, it is required to have one of the following certifications Princeton Foundation, PMP, CAPM or IPMA. PMP certification requires a secondary degree or a four-year degree. If you have a secondary degree, for example an associate degree or a high school diploma, you should have spent 60 months leading projects and have 35 hours of project management education or CAPM certification to qualify for PMP exam. In case you have a four-year degree, such as a bachelor degree, you will need to have 36 months of experience in leading projects and 35 hours of project management education or CAPM certification. For both PMP and PRINCE2 certifications, costs range based on the membership, training and the country where you take the test. 
For PMI members, the cost is 405 US dollars. For non-members, the cost is 555 US dollars. The Prince to Foundation costs 365 dollars and the Prince to Practitioner costs 485 dollars. In order to maintain your PMP certification, you will be required to complete 60 professional development units PDUs, every three years. For more details on how to earn the PDUs, you can check out our video about it on this channel. As for the Prince2 certification, the Prince2 Foundation doesn't require additional renewal, while the Prince2 Practitioner is valid for three years of its issue date, after which you will have to take a re-registration examination set at the same standard as the practitioner examination. PMP certification is more popular in the United States, Canada, Middle East and Australia, while Prince2 is more known and accepted in the UK and Europe. Asia, Africa and South America accept both certifications. Considering all the differences and similarities, Choosing a certification is completely based on your goals, job prospects, as well as the country you are working or want to work for. No matter which certification you choose, you will gain the necessary skills, knowledge and professional credentials to be able to excel in the field of project management internationally. Thank you for watching this video. Please do not forget to subscribe and hit the bell button in order to get notified when our next video is up. See you next time!